Oh gosh. Well, once you start, you can't stop, as you say. <laughs> I mean, from fixing your foundation, we're all cracked when we when we end a relationship. So you got to get in there. You got to go to the therapist, psychology of learning about yourself and what's holding you back. I can't change what's already happened. So there's no value in wishing it were different. And, and essentially, I learned through reading Eckhart Tolle and things through years after that Every negative emotion that we have is self-created by the degree of resistance that we have to our reality. Whether it's a past reality, whether it's happening right now, or whether it's even a projected future reality that we're afraid of. So if good is the enemy of great, if companies are great or good or less than good, it's probably a reflection of the person behind the business itself. So I think we bring our personal standards to our business in many cases. So if good is the enemy of great, then fine is the enemy of fantastic. Proactive is an abbreviation for professionally attractive. If you want to be more professionally attractive, if you want more people to refer you, if you want more business, if you want more great people in your life, then be proactive, which means anticipate, look ahead. And it's not getting caught up in the vanity metrics of it. It's trying to just understand the psychology of why certain content is resonating with certain people, certain themes, certain formats, certain stories. And, and it's not a difficult thing to do. Like if you just kind of, even if you just post something and just first off set a hypothesis of like, what do, I, what do I think is going to happen with this piece? It would take me over 300 years just to read the books that come out this year. So you can't know it all, no matter how purposeful you are, but we can make a more conscientious choice. Understanding that we have limited resources to know it all, we can narrow our focus. Look at something that you're truly great at, that you're passionate about, and that addresses the concern. So there may be many, many things that you could work on. Find a place that thrills your heart, and then figure out how in that space to serve as many people as possible, and then be willing and open to hear the hard feedback about what's working and not working. Serve others and you can't fail. So we have a choice about where we put our attention. So we can bring less stress into our life. And when it does come in, we can do the things that help us release the stress, like meditation, yoga. I think stress is also is kind of a, a gift from the universe sometimes. You know, what are you stressed about? Are you procrastinating? Are you tolerating something that you don't need to tolerate? Are you in an environment that's not serving you?